Welcome back to our second unboxing of the Elite Trainer Box for Shining Fates. Let's see if we can pull anything better today. Today we do have a special guest and we also do have a new co-host uh, by popular demand. Brenna is still here, but we do have a new co-host joining her. So today joining us, we have the original Bad Bunny. It's Miso Rabbit. It's Miso Rabbit. She looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> now, she is the reason we lost our deposit on this apartment. Within, what, like six or seven months? <laughs> yep, so um, we're not going to be seeing that. She has ripped some of our carpet up, but it's okay because uh, look at her. She's so cute. She's so cute. So we're going to be opening up our second ETB. This ETB actually comes from uh, Facebook Marketplace, so I'm a little skeptical that this might be resealed, but we'll have to see. Uh, the guy seemed to be honest. He seemed to be legit. Uh, but who knows? You never know these days. Anyways, we will find out now. Praise the Lord. Oh, I thought you were like having a reaction. No, like no, no. Resealed. They are perfect they look great okay. so we did not get a resealed box we, not get uh, we have uh 10 packs in total one two three four five six seven eight nine right oh ten okay I, then i was gonna say no this guy definitely is gonna but we have ten in total so brenna will be opening five in observance of women's history month thank you and i will be opening three our special guest will be opening two um so let's go ahead and get started one I'll thing yeah it. you can go ahead one okay. thing that i did want to mention is the support and love that we got on our first video was awesome yeah thank you it was friend. really really cool it was funny looking back because as you guys can tell uh my channel has two videos it has a video that i shot four years ago uh about me uh reviewing sneaker shields and at the moment i thought that video was the greatest video ever now because we uploaded i went ahead and revisited that video are you having trouble <laughs> okay there we go okay so i i went i went back and revisited that video and that video i'll be the first to say it probably not the first but that video sucked now, like I said, at the time, that video, I thought I was going to skyrocket to YouTube sneaker success. It has 89,000 views and I will never take it down no matter how bad it is <laughs> because it, it's, it, it was just a really fun day. Do you remember that day? You weren't there. I was not there. Uh, so, uh, but it was a really fun day with two of my best friends, uh, Mike and Mark. Shout out to my boy Mark. It is his birthday today. Happy birthday, I did not Mark. hop on uh, PS5 to record this video and uh, he might be feeling some type of way, yeah. but these packs are in memory of you. You didn't die, but I, just, <laughs> but I just decided to say in memory of you. We have a coughing and a professor of research. Not the Boo. best way to pick it up, not very but funny. we're, uh, we'll, we'll go, we'll Moving go for right it. Now, last time I, uh, last time we did the pack openings, we ended up doing like almost a Q and A type thing, uh, which I really do like that that dynamic. You were you didn't know I had questions. For I you. didn't know that was the thing. Is like you kind of threw that at me, so my questions and answers kind of sucked. Mm. So I kind of yeah, they're really hard to open. So I we tried to be a little more prepared this time. So you did say you have questions for me. What are your preguntas? And so my first question is, what is your favorite episode of Pokemon and why? My favorite uh, episode of Pokemon is when they go to the Pokemon Tower okay. and see all the ghost Pokemon. Yeah! Oh, 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 this isn't working. Yeah, Haunter and um, Dengar are in the top five. Uh, no, top ten of my favorite Pokemon. Favorite Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, that is my favorite episode. That is an awesome episode and it's creepy and I love it. So... All right, and then my other question is, who is your least favorite Pokemon and why? <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, so shit. this is this is one of the um, this is one of the rare cards to get. I have the other second card. So this is a really really good card to pull. Cool. Our luck is going is going very well so far. Time. Let's see what our second uh, rare card is, and it is a Yon Mega non hollow but this is a That's beautiful card. Cool. I actually don't even have sleeves ready for that. For, here, for the sleeves are over here. Yep, a very good start to our packs. Cool. Okay, yeah, so least, I'll keep going here. Least favorite Pokemon and why? Yeah, you know, like one that you like wouldn't that you really don't care, care about, yeah. Krabby. Krabby? <gasps> but I love Krabby, he's Krabby. You don't like Krabby? 
That seems it's like kind of annoying. I, I don't. I, my least favorite Pokemon are water water type. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Um. So we do have viewer submitted questions. Yeah. Uh. What are those questions? Okay. So the first one we'll do is how did you guys meet? Was it love at first sight? That is from Tammy on Instagram. So. Do you want its own story? I. I, I think. I, yeah. We can. Yeah. I could tell the story. So. I don't know if it was for you. I know I met you because we I did orchestra in high school and he was in choir. And so there was like a shared lobby in our high school where like all like the musical kids would like hang out and stuff between like where the classrooms were. And you would kind of just stare at me while I sat in there. Is that true? Like, cause like I thought you were staring at me. Were you staring it's at like, me? It's um, like it's like in that episode of The Office where my it's nothing. It's compared nothing compared to, to the way Michael, Michael looks, looks at me. At me. <laughs> But it's nothing compared to the way Michael looks at me. Yeah, and then one day I got an Instagram DM for you, which is really Gen Z of us. Um, but yeah, I got an Instagram DM from you. We started talking. We talked for a while, like probably six months. And then you took me on a date. And uh, the story's really cute because um, you were like, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. And I was like, okay, I really want to get sushi. And you're like, okay, where do you want to go? I pick 90 East, which is in Brantford is a pretty expensive sushi restaurant. Uh, you know, we ate sushi. And then, you know, a couple months later after we started dating, um, Jose, well, I was asking, uh, you know, where should we go out to eat that day? And Jose, was, uh, and I, I suggested where we went on our first date, which was sushi. And Jose was like, oh, I really can't eat the sushi. It makes me really sick. And it was so sweet because like, he just ate the sushi because I liked it and didn't say anything. So that was really nice. That showed you were a... You were a troop. You were a trooper. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of sushi. I am now. I yeah, like we sushi. love it now. But at the time, but at the well, time honestly, it wasn't that good sushi though. For yeah, I had eel sushi, which um, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't a good fast. for a first time. I just chose eel because of the name. Like, oh my god, I'm eating an eel, but it's it it's a little slimy. Is that how you would tell that story? Yeah, you that's add, perfect. You yeah, add? I think the I think my. I think the only thing I would add is that on our first date, I went ahead and ordered an, an yes, Uber black car. you ordered car. an Uber black car, which was very impressive because your car at the time was- I didn't I, have a car. Oh, you didn't have a I thought it was the green car. Oh, you didn't even have no, a car yet, right, so, so yeah. Is, so this is our first, this is Appleton, our- Appleton, aw, he's like a turtle. Uh, this That's is our so first uh, shining card. It is Franklin the Frog. That's so cute. That's not a frog. <laughs> Franklin it's a turtle. the Turtle. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. It's Franklin the Turtle really with an cute. apple pie in the back. Aww. Uh, but that's a nice one. And then Indeedy. the Indeed. We got that last time. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into another one. Yeah, so you got a black car Uber all the way from New Haven to Brantford and picked me up. And that was so pretty that, that was like, he was like the only black car driver at the time. And he Uber was Spanish was pretty, too, Yeah, right? Uber was pretty new. Yeah. So he was the only black car driver. That, how much was that? Do you remember how much that Uber cost? So honestly, our how much did our, our first ride, date cost? So our ride was maybe two minutes down the street. It was yeah, and two think, wasabi was very fast. Yeah, and I think it was like twenty bucks there and twenty bucks back, so it's forty dollars for a two minute ride. And then the Four food minutes, was the food well. was probably almost a hundred. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm an expensive first date. Yeah, so it was a pretty good first date. Yeah, I think we had fun. It was good. Okay, so then, do you want to ask the next one? Yeah, I'll go ahead and ask okay. the next one. And I'll get into this one. Okay. All right, so the next one is, what did you watch during quarantine? Uh, what movies did you watch during quarantine? That's from my guy, Diggy Benson. Shout out to Diggy Benson. Uh, go, go check him out on Instagram. He makes really dope beats. Uh, but what movies we watched during quarantine? The favorite movie you watched during quarantine? Uh, I'm going to say The we Quiet Place. Keeper. And we have a bird keeper. You. <laughs> that that is uh, a bird keeper it's a full art very nice card um i'm gonna go ahead and sleeve it up as well cool very very nice card very good start uh but yeah that's that i think our favorite movie or well, i'm at least gonna go ahead and say that my favorite movie was a quiet place yeah I, that was the new movie that we saw that was i really liked yeah i think those the two kids that uh well see the girl who played the death girl is actually death in real life oh and that okay was, um, yeah that was really cool yeah that no that, that that movie was really good i don't remember like horror but like it wasn't so it wasn't like gross Jeez. scary which is what I'm it wasn't gross scary which is good because like i don't like that stuff but it was good we also just recently watched i mean i guess we're not really still in quarantine but we recently watched like almost all the Avengers movies again mm -hmm. with my sister because she'd never seen them. That was really fun. WandaVision's on a movie, but I've been obsessed with WandaVision. Yeah. We finished WandaVision. Like, WandaVision Winter was Soldier. very, very good. Um, but I think that's it. I don't think we watched... Mm. Oh, and you made me watch Rocky. 
Oh, and then I was this during quarantine. El Camino. We watched. Like, so, yeah, it was. We watched El yeah. Camino during yeah. quarantine yeah. as well, which was yeah. really good. That was. Uh, that was. We rewatched really... Breaking Bad because I didn't see the end of it too. So that was that was recent too. Yeah. Quarantine was fun, but not fun, in my personal opinion. It was fun, but Yeah, not fun well, like, you worked the whole time, so, like, your <laughs> job was settled. But, like, for me, for me, the first couple months of quarantine were, like, really scary because I didn't know if I was going to be able to go back to work. But once, like, the state was like, okay, salons can open, like, I think it was June 20th, that, like, month of May and the end of, and the beginning of June was really fun because I was like, okay, I'm never going to have an opportunity where I don't have to do anything for the rest, like, nothing for the rest mm -hmm. of the time. So that was fun. So this is the next pack, and then we'll get into the next question. I'm gonna try to do this on camera. They're literally like so hard to open. Yeah, the our marker is a little pushed forward, so that 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 might be the um, that might be the, the deal breaker. Um, but yeah, uh, next question. I need to like stretch in preparation to open these. Oh, okay. So the next question is, when did you guys figure out the next step was to move in together? Do you want to um, feel that first? Yeah, I don't. I actually don't know how it um. Honestly, I don't it know how we took really the next fast. step. Yeah, I, I was I was looking to move out just to um just I felt that it was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I felt like I just wanted a little more in, independence. <laughs> and um and my parents have been nothing but supportive. Uh, you know, with me being at the house, like, you know, it wasn't ever like get I needed out. to get out or anything. <laughs> Uh, they actually wanted me to stay home. Yeah. But uh, so I just felt like I needed a little bit of independence. Um, and then, um, and, and then I, I just asked Brenna to to move in with me. Um, it wasn't anything like I hesitated to do it or I was scared to ask her. One, I think we just, two, uh, I think three, we were just okay four. with the fact of. Moving we basically together. lived together. I was at his house every day, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we've been together for five years this month, so. I think it just made sense. Um, also, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but uh, apartments are really expensive. Uh, so to try to afford those on your own are pretty crazy. So it just made more sense for us to um, to get a place together because I was like, you know, we we're both at the point we're ready to move out. And it's been super fun. Is this valuable? Oh, more or more precio or <laughs> I can't even speak. A more precio. Cool. Yeah, it's not it's not valuable, but it's a really cool card. It's a really cool floor. Are you gonna sleeve it? Uh, yeah, I'll okay, go ahead and cool. put it to the side and sleeve. Um, um, so you're gonna open up your last this is pack, my last pack, and then our special guest is gonna open up. Perfect. All right, so then I'll do our last question. So, because you've been together for mad long, what do you do for dates, both simple and extra? What so, are your favorite thing we do for dates? Uh, <laughs> Bear with me. There we yeah, go. Right. Look at that. So I think I think all of our dates are really simple. You yeah. Know, we simply. Um, simply just go out to eat Mostly whether food. yeah whether the food is expensive or not we just kind of decide I, I don't i don't think we like look to go to an expensive place not really think, we both really are yeah, cheap I, now at this point we're both cheap dates for sure yeah i think i think the most important thing about a day is just being with the being with the person yeah. you, you want to be with obviously and if the person is a fun time it doesn't really matter if the date is expensive so definitely with the uh, simple and extra dates, I don't think I don't think we do many extra dates. No. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think like uh, I've seen people that like uh, they like go skydiving for a date, just like on the regular. They're just like, okay, let's go skydiving today. We don't really do that. I think what we do a lot is we enjoy a lot, we we enjoy each other's company. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got. Uh, we got this one last. Yeah, time? I I I pulled that last time by myself. Yeah. But I do see a, a full art. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Oh. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's I, I already have that card and it's still a really good card. Yeah. Um, so not bad at all. Are you gonna sleeve it? Uh, yeah, I'm okay, gonna put cool. it to the side and sleeve it. All right. So uh, as I was saying, yeah, I don't think we do anything like super extra. No. I think we I think we've come to the point where we kind of just don't care what we do as long as we're doing as it. As long together. as there's food and we're together. Yeah. Recently, you took. I me... like how you put food in front of. <laughs> I mean, together. food's really important. Yeah. No, but recently he took me on a date where it seemed like he was kidnapping me. He said, like, get, like, get dressed, let's go. He didn't tell me where we were going. We drove for, like, 35 minutes, and then we came to a taco truck. I mean, the best tacos is delicious. Okay. Well, right. I'm going to go ahead and invite our special guest now to open up the final two Bye, packs. Bye, everybody. So, let's welcome in the guest. <laughs> oh, God. What is up, my guy? So, to everybody, this is my younger brother, David. David as well is a collector of pokemon he likes pokemon and he wanted to be part of the video uh so welcome to the channel david do you have anything to say no no all right let's go ahead and start uh start with your first pack now we're gonna keep the dynamic going of questions open them on screen 
We're gonna keep the dynamic going of, uh, of questions. So you are currently still- <laughs> <laughs> Oh Here, my you god. You want to use a box cutter? Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So currently with the pandemic, you uh, are in hybrid school, which means which means you are on you are online for the beginning. It's cut now, so you got it. It was you were online for uh, part of it, and now you are back in school. So you, in your honest opinion, you don't have to worry about getting in trouble. In your honest opinion, how do you feel the school year? Uh, how do you feel the school year is going with this new? online help and uh, put it a little more forward there you go with online online schooling and then regular school um well for online schooling schooling it's much more harder because you get distracted easily um with like if you have electronics near you you just go on it but with school, um, they actually, they, they don't allow you to have your uh, electronics, only when you're on a mass break. Mass break, so that's when you guys, oh, we have another shining card. We have a Dretna shining, very nice. That's, uh, that's a very good card. Let's see if we have a full art. Um, I want to apologize dearly to Rainbow Gorilla. We've been pronouncing his name horribly wrong. It's not Rally Boom, it's not um, whatever else we said. It is Rilla Boom as in gorilla uh thank you to brenna uh master of the english language for uh if we're coming for allowing me to say rilla boom where it it says gorilla boom rilla boom anyway so th that's a that's all right uh, well before you go ahead and show that i wanted to show here i said i had the second golden card of the uh eternatus so this is the v max card Still pretty cool. And this is the one that we pulled today. This, I believe the odds of pulling this was one in 155. So that is a really good card for us. Uh, second best uh, to Charizard. So we're slowly, slowly getting there. All right, go for the last pack. <laughs> oh my knees so we have a Troxicity pack, last pack of the night. Let's see if we get lucky at all. David is a little bit nervous, but it's okay. I hope I didn't cut any cards. Yeah, that's why. Better do with your hands, but it's okay. Let's see. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to our director, Brenna. Do you have any questions for the young man? I do. Um, why did you want to start getting interested in Pokemon? Was it because of Jose, or do you think you kind of got into it on your own? Because of Jose. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to be better than my brother. <laughs> Do you think you succeeded at that? No. No? Oh, okay. And Sarah, you're, you're better in your own way, <laughs> which is very important. And then I have one more question. What is your favorite Pokemon? Um, Charmander. Charmander. You guys are the same. Yeah. Yeah. Charmander. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're more of a fire type you family. Fire brothers. Yeah, I think we're more of a fire type family. Fuego hermano. <laughs> 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 the Fuego hermano. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have Frost Moth and our last one. Ooh, second one of the day. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. We are, we haven't succeeded with the Charizard, but not bad at all. Two packs. How do you feel, David? Bad. <laughs> you feel bad? No, I feel good. Feel well, good. So thank you, David, for coming out today. Mm -hmm. You pulled, uh, you pulled out a rainbow card, a frost moth, and what was the other card you pulled? It was like a oh, oh a Rilla boom and a dreadnought. So very not not bad at all for uh, for for your first pack opening on YouTube. Do you feel like you want to be a recurring guest or are you one and done? A recurring guest. Recurring guest. I like that. All right, Dave. Thank you, my man. So these are our two pulls of today. We have the Al Creamy and the Eternatus V. Very, very good cards. Like I said, this was uh, one in 155 chances of pulling. So that's a very good card. Uh, we have another Al Creamy and a Bird Keeper, AKA myself with yes. my four birds that I have here at home. And uh, yeah, we live in a zoo. We do. We charge admission when people come to the park. And then the last full art is our 
more Pekio. Who looks like Miso. Yeah, who looks like Miso. All right, so we do have a third video coming out. Yep. It's gonna be a shorter video. We have a Dragon Pulp V Max box. We're very excited to uh, to go ahead and open this. I have opened one already on TikTok. Uh, once again, we are very excited to go ahead and do this. Yep. If you guys are still attached to Brenda and want us here, open this box with me. Obviously. Good. You if are. you guys want a little more of David and you want to see him open up this box. That's right. That will conclude this video. It was a good video. Yes. Still on the lookout for the Charizard. It's very possible it is in this pack right here. So we will. Uh, we will have to wait and see. Yeah. Do you have any other closing statements? I just want to thank you for having me again. I want to thank all the Brenna stands. I now have a fandom. Uh, thank you very much for the questions, guys. Uh, we'll probably do that again because that was fun. Yeah. It was nice to have like, other guys, questions. Yeah. If you guys want to leave questions in the comments down below That's or good DM too. me yeah, questions, we'll use those next so time. We're good. That's good. But yeah, yeah, no, this was really fun. Thank you to my loyal fans. Thank you, Jose, for having me. And we'll see you next time.